So we're still in exercise seven. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with it because I would really like to see if we can finish this exercise today. I think that would be a great uh, kind of stopping point for us to get to. So uh, we'll probably move relatively quickly. We have, so this is 58, let's 58 out of, I think there's 80 of them um, on purpose. There's a bunch of them because as you've seen before, some of them end up being not such great examples, but if I make a whole bunch of them, then I can just cut one or two and that works out well. Um, okay, so we have 22, if I've done the arithmetic correct, or 23, kind of a fence post problem there, uh, but we can probably get through them. So uh, who wants to get started? Somebody want to take four of these? I can do it. All right, what you got, Kevin? Um, to moot, uh, neti, uh, n, m, pa, it. Okay. And then our um, hierocoptic. Uh, that's gotta be, uh, tamau, um, et, men, uh, pe peyot. Yeah. And this is another one of those great cases where that's like correct Coptic naturally. Yeah. Sorry to good Coptic. We should go through at some point and, and look at how many of those there are uh, because it really does, it, it lends credence to my claim that we can pronounce things as Coptic most of the time. Um, you know, a lot of people kind of balk at that, but it's like, I mean, look how often the Coptic and late Egyptian are exactly identical to one another. It's like this language was very stable over this time period. Anyway, okay, what does this mean? Uh, the mother who is with the father. Yeah, good stuff. Okay. If anyone has any questions, just feel free to interrupt, but we'll, we'll keep plugging along otherwise. Uh, pa uh, Hanu uh, Neti Ben uh, Sue heard. I forget which one. Tap yeah. or Dep. Tap. Okay. Uh, pa iteru. Okay. Uh, so it's a uh, pe hiom, pe ha, pe hai haim. Haim. Um, yeah. Haim. Uh, at uh, NC, uh, yeah, I'm, just, I'm gonna put N, it seems close enough. And uh, he gem is that yeah. what we what did we do? We try to construct a he dape for this before. No, we did okay. Yeah, just, let's just stay with he gem. Yeah, he gem, he gem, uh, Piro, Pior, Pior, An. Or yeah, we I'm, gonna, I'm gonna leave the on off for now. For the correct, yeah, okay. And then, and then I would say for the correct one, it's the same thing except for on at the end. Uh, two things change. Oh. Uh, is it just is the uh, NC out or the yeah out? Yeah, we can just I keep typing that wrong. We can just drop that ends and then add an on, and then it's like this is doing the job that this was doing. So that's why the difference is there. And uh, that is the wave, uh, which is not upon the river. Oh, that's actually a good sentence. Yeah, the wave, which is not upon the river. <laughs> that's not bad, actually. I mean, it's I keep making these weird sentences where like water is on top of itself and stuff. But this one is actually, that makes sense to me. Anyway, okay. Uh, ta uh, e het neti ben uh, set um, e men e no n m uh, ta e het inu uh, yuna. 
And so it's uh, Tehe uh, et ens men uh, taha. Oh, Tehe. It's yeah. the, the, the cow and the cow. Uh, same, on. same word. It's the cow and the cow. Um, and uh, to make it correct, it would just, I guess, I guess just take out the ENSA. Yeah, yeah, I'll just, I'll get rid of that because it's not, not the normal way to say it. And then, yeah, we end up with that. And then what does this mean? Uh, the cow that is not with the cow. I mean, not, not elegant as sentences go, but not nonsensical. Yeah, in um, context, it could be, it could, it could make, make perfect sense. sense. Yeah, there's a, there's a cow that's like, you know, with her friend, and then there's a cow who's with the, I don't know, the king or whatever, I don't know. A lot of cows in this. I got a little carried away with cows. Okay. Uh, so it's ta, uh, I het neti ben set uh, en im pa hai uh, iuna. And uh, tehe uh, et ensa ens. Um, men, uh, uh, to high, uh, high, uh, pa high, pa high. Yeah. Um, on. Yeah. Almost no change. Yeah. Uh, would take out the ensa again. Yeah. Miss. And uh, that is the cow that is not with the husband. Something tells me I intended to put wife here and and put cow instead, um, <laughs> which sounds like I'm like being rude or something. Like I'm calling some poor lady a cow. That's not obviously not the intention. Uh, I think I just like moved the words around and, and put the wrong one in the wrong place. Anyway. You want to do one more? Sure. Uh, ta aket um, neti uh, her dep. Yep. Um, pa iu iu ma. Or is that m? Yeah. There's no uh, no ah. Uh, these okay. are these are like fused. Yep. Um, and that would be. Uh, Tehi. Oh Tehi. man, yeah, this doesn't. Uh, so yeah, it's te. te. Although, yeah, okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, but just keep in mind that in Coptic, this comes to mean manner, not thing. Um, okay, so yeah. more like an abstract thing, like a yeah, it it becomes abstracted, and then it becomes a way of saying like, like you say in the thing of so and so means in the way or in the manner of so and so. So it, it becomes, um, what's the word for that? It's there, so there's all kinds of different like semantic drift that can happen in languages over time. Uh, this one is called, I think it's called specification or narrowing. It's a common thing. That it's like the way that in English, the word deer specifically refers to like a, a cervid, right? Like a, like a four hoofed animal with antlers rather than just animal. Whereas the etymological word like um, terion or tier or whatever means just animal generally, right? So that's a, that's a thing that happens. Was, this word became specified, but it's good enough for our reconstruction for now. Um, te et uh, hijem uh, peyom, pe, peyam. Yeah. And for this, the main thing we have to change is the word for thing. Do you happen to remember the Coptic word for thing? No, I don't. I'll tell you, you just saw it, interestingly, in hieratic class. 
where uh, it meant, do you remember what it meant in higher attic class? Um, it meant, is it meant but? No, it, it was the one that? that was, it's the one that, oh, let me see if I can draw the higher attic correctly. We just talked about it. I think it was like this. Oh, to send. Yeah. And that actually is the etymology of the word hope. It's, it started off meaning to send, and then it came to mean um, to send for some purpose, like on an errand. And then um, as, as a noun, uh, ascending became an errand, which then generalized to mean thing in general. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, they kind of swapped places, interestingly. So behold. Oh. And then it would be the same. Yeah. For the rest of the sentence, I guess. Yeah, the rest of the sentence stays the same. At he gem. Why do I do that? Gem yom. Yeah. And uh, the thing which is upon the sea. Good. Excellent. Okay. Good job, Kevin. One hundred percent. Um. Somebody else want to do a batch of these? We're making good time. Yeah, I think sure. we can finish them. Lucifer, you ready to go? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. What you got? Uh, pa, pa kisnet. Actually, kisnet. Yep. Ed. Then, pa. Uh, Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, Just guess. Just guess and you'll get it right. Class in Coptic. Close. Close enough. Close. Close. Yeah. Because uh, it tie. And? Because it tie. Because it tie. Same, yeah. Then uh, the heart, um, the hardness. Are you thinking of question? That means like, um, it actually means difficult, but it can also mean kind of weighty or, or I think it can even mean hard in like a physical sense, but this is a different word. Kas by itself or kas just means bone. Okay. Like as in like literally I this just, thing. I just guess if, uh, if it be a bone if you look or at, something re related, yeah. Yeah, if you look at it like this, it looks like the word pessin, that means difficult, uh, but if, but it's, there's a space. I put the okay. space, uh, yeah. The start, because of, it, there is no determinative about uh, a body part or something like that. Right. It, the bone that is here, Bone that is here. Tarnity. Um, the meat. Okay. Uh, tinty. Remember what? Okay, let's do, let's do each one separately. So, what happens to ta in Coptic most of the time? What does it become? Mostly it is a uh, prefix like to uh, T. Yeah, it's just T. Tet, yeah, Tet. Tet, yeah. Tet, uh, him, te, temro. Uh, not, not emro. This is a different word. Ne? Time, yeah. And then for our reconstruction, we have to do tetime, and then you want to do here. Putime. Time. Oh, I need the preposition here too. I'm gonna use N. I did that in a weird order. So let's just recap. Okay, so taneti em ta Um, what we have here, tet ent dime, probably roughly what it approximately would have sounded like. And then because of certain changes in later Coptic. We use hem instead of n to mean in, 
and then um, the the gender of this noun changes. So we have Fatima instead of Fatima, but yeah, pretty much the same. And what does this mean? Then Taniti uh, Tadenit. Uh, that actually that uh, which is that which is in the uh, town yeah that which is in the town and it's really that the one uh, it can be that which is in the town if it's referring to a feminine noun or it can be she who is in the town if it's referring to a, a, a actual yeah. woman I Either just way. guess because also can be article and uh, demonstrative pronoun like it is specifically the article but it's this weird usage of the article where it's just like stuck onto a relative clause the witch literally the witch is in the town that's just the way egyptian does it yeah in na na peru uh anti pen set empa meru mer i don't i don't see an ooh there i'm just gonna leave it as mer just mr okay. i just uh Mostly yes, because of the plural sign, plural, plural, plural like like water sign. Yeah. Uh, and mm, and and peu et. I'm gonna reconstruct this. I think we've reconstructed this as por. Um, okay, Which is a, yeah, I'm I think I'm likely at it's uh, been it's men hmm, or just use at the end of on and well for the for the proper Coptic, but we can still put this in Coptic as Nsa, which does exist. Um, I don't even have to star this. This is a real. You could say this in Coptic, Nsa. They are not. Yeah. Then Nsa Him Pembro. Pembro, probably. I think the etymology of this is probably Big Harbor. I think that's where that O is coming from, but I don't really know for sure. But yeah, I'm just going to reconstruct it like that. Okay, now let's, let's do the, re the real Coptic is way easier for this one. Uh, uh, that would be the the skies. Uh, then M. I. Any. Yeah, ni. Then ni et. Mm, then ni et him. The Hen Pemro Hen Pemro or Temro Temro Hen Temro An. Excellent. Yeah. And uh, just in case anyone's curious, so the, the word, the standard word for house that, that was the standard for most of hieroglyphic Egyptian, Per, it survives in a few uh, compound words in a few places, uh, but it's not the standard word. Uh, starting with demotic, they start using a word that means basically rooms as the word for house. So it's kind of like there was a word men house and they start using a word that's sort of like apartment or quarters, something like that. And then that becomes the standard Coptic word for house. So Weirdly, there's a slight shift there. That's why. I... The classic uh, word for house in all, all mostly all uh, stage of Egyptian, we are the uh, weirdly destroy or yeah yeah in Coptic just falls out of fashion yeah in main usage yeah 
it is kind of weird, but that's that's how language does. Yeah, there is no logic on it. Nope. What does it mean? Yeah, uh, the house, house. houses uh, that that uh, is that it is not that are not uh, in the harbor. Yeah, the houses that are not in the harbor. Um, hopefully most of them. Yeah. Um, unless, unless something has gone terribly wrong. Okay, do um, you want to do one more, Mustafa? Sure. All right, let's do it. Uh, Payon. NT uh, Bensu Diuna. Nice. Yeah. Uh, the C. Yeah. Uh, Payom. Payom. Uh, et. Et. N. N. S. Yeah. N. N. Which isn't real Coptic at all, but that's what I it am. is. Yom at ends. Ends tie on. Good. Yeah. Great job. And then in real Coptic. I payom et tie on. That's it. Then the sea is not here, which is that, not here. The sea, the sea that is not here. Yeah. That is not here. Yeah. Some other scene. Um, okay. Great job, Mustafa. So we're, we're doing pretty well. I think we could actually, I don't know. We're doing good. Uh, we've done 10 so far. So we're on the right track. Does somebody else want to take a chunk of these? I see lots of happy faces who look like they want to read things. Getting no volunteers. Oh, I just saw a hand go up. Who was that? Was that Kathy? Okay, let's go for it. Pa Nacher and he Ta Niwat. Okay, so Pa Nute at um, M, no, N, uh, what is, it's not, uh, it's not team A, it's, um, I forget the name of the city. Okay. Uh, is it clear why, is it clear why I chose N instead of M here? Uh, no, <laughs> not to me anyway. Okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a thing that's worth talking about. So basically what happened starting in the later, later stages of Egyptian is that um, N and M became basically dependent upon the following consonant as to which one would be chosen. So if, if, it's a, if this were a masculine noun here, if it was in the, I don't know, what, what's a masculine noun like uh, in the house, uh, then it would be M pay. And this is sort of like what happens in, um, you know, in English, we have this in prefix. So we can say like inconceivable. Don't know if I spelled that correctly, but whatever. Um, and, but then we say impossible because the, this nasal sound assimilates to the following consonant. If you try to say impossible 10 times mm -hmm. fast, you end up saying impossible because the, the N moves forward in the mouth to anticipate the coming P sound, right? That's just a normal thing that happens in languages. This is called assimilation. Um, that basically always happens with these N and Ms in later Egyptian. So it is the word M, but because of this T, it's being realized as N. Okay. And that creates a case where um, a lot of words that are actually still distinct words end up looking identical on the page because one changes into the other or vice versa, depending on 
context. Okay, cool. Um, I don't think we need to change anything there. We need to change. Um, well, I want to change this because oh. Cop Coptic doesn't really like this anymore. It now uses the word uh, hen or hem, depending on the gender of the next noun. Okay. And, and then, and it, oh, that's right, because this wound up meaning Thebes or yeah. later, right? Okay. Yeah, Police. this okay. Police is the word that we want because the, so yeah, nay got restricted to specifically the city of Thebes, and then they borrow right. the Greek word for, okay. for city in general. Okay. Okay. Um, the god who is in uh, the city. Yeah. The god who is in the city. That's another cool book title. So many cool book titles come out of these Good. examples. Uh, <laughs> uh, pa, per, enti, im. Uh, uh, pa, pu, peor. So it was, I think it's. I think it's what? por in the plural. Por. So I think it's pe por is okay. based on the Coptic evidence that I have. I think that is the realization of those. So singular pe plural por. And then we did it before in a previous class where I did kind of the phonetic derivation of, for, for why I think that. Uh, mm -hmm. In this case, pe, because it's singular. So pe. I think it was just. It just wasn't just pear though. It was um, it was I thought it was peur or just um, um, omicron uh, row. Yeah. Right? So so what I'm thinking is I'm thinking that uh, this word becomes this because there there is evidence for this directly in the word erpe that means temple. We have mm -hmm. the word pear becoming pe, and then in the case of this. It gets a little trickier because it's not totally clear that we have an exact match, but we do have a Coptic word. The word for roof is genepor, which okay. means literally like roof of house, but okay. there's no way to get por from, from judge okay. and okay. er. So it must be coming from the plural. And then if you do the derivation, you get this as par with an unreleased final R, and this so as par. par with a with a um, some kind of final short vowel in the plural, and mm -hmm. then that gives you this and this once you you know run the clock okay. forward. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Uh, okay. So pape at uh, ml. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then it's so a little it's, different. Uh, pe is it pehi? Hey, yeah. Hey, uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna call you out a little bit. Everybody does this, but um, this is just a good time to remember that this is just a vowel, right? right. A, yeah. A e hey. Yeah. I don't mean to pay. pick on you. Oh no, Everyone that's fine. Does this. <laughs> Everyone fine. pronounces that as an H for like a year before it finally yeah. clicks that it's a vowel. Pay. Um, at ML. Yeah. Pay at ML. Um, the house, which is there. And just a quick minor note, this is also the way that Coptic says that house, right? Peyetamel just means that house, the house, literally the house which is there, but idiomatically, it just it's just that house. That house. That, that house, house there. Cool. Yeah. Uh, ta, let's see. Um, ta, Nebets, NT. Uh, herpa ta. Good. Yep. Okay. Uh, don't remember that one. Lady. Um, neve. Okay. Neve. Neve. Uh, et her, uh, et hen. Oh, he. Uh, land. I have no idea. Uh, to. Pato. Okay. I need to do a little star here, actually, because I made that word up, uh, kind of, or maybe I didn't. Maybe it's a real Coptic word. I'm not sure anymore. Seems good, but uh, for this, I'm gonna just do Joyce. Joyce. Okay. It's more common. Okay. Et, 
I'm just going to write this one because it's it gets a little weird. Uh, this is the way you would write this in normal Coptic. It's Joyce at Uh So yeah, quite a bit has changed, but it's all it's all lexical, right? Like the word ta kind of falls out of fashion and gets replaced with the word kah, which originally just means kind of like like ground, but it becomes generally the word for land. Um, and then Joyce originally meant something like um, something like general. Uh, it comes from Jise to like to raise up, but it originally meant it's a captain or general, like some kind, some kind of authority position, but it takes mm -hmm. over as the generic word for like owner, master of an estate, etc. cetera. Um, so we've just got some slight semantic shifts or lexical shifts, but basically the same. Uh, what does this mean? Uh, the lady who is on the land. Yeah. The lady who is on the land. That's not a bad sentence. Uh, let's see. Na, nature, plural. NT, ben, set, also plural. Uh, en, im, pa, good call. Yeah. eat. Yeah, good catch on that. Plural. Uh, nice job. Neut. What is it? Uh, non the ute? Oh, NT. Thinking nantier. of this word? Yeah. I was thinking of that yeah. word, but yeah, nant here. Uh, ets, uh, ents. Um, ents there. This ents also does survive in a couple. The plural has the vowel on it. Okay. Um, no. He? No. Men. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, nope, don't remember that one either. Um, Payut. Yeah. Um, so Nantir at just men Payut on. Um, the gods who are not with uh, the father. Yeah, very good. I, I have to go check back real quick. I know there was another plural set that I neglected. Yeah, here. Okay. Yeah, good catch with that. I forgot about that. Okay. Very good. Okay. Uh, pa Aku. N T D do however you want to say that. Um, oh, bread. Uh, poik. Yeah, good. Poik. Um, uh, at Thai. That's it. We're just gonna write this one. Yes. Exactly the same. Um, the bread that is here. You want to do one more before you call it sure. quits? Okay. Sure. Um, ta ni wet and ti ben set and im na senu. So what did we just simply? Uh, Tenny uh, et. And um, yeah. um, no, let's see. Okay, so men, uh, is it Sunni? Uh, Na Sunni? Both? No. I'll tell, I have to tell you this one because you wouldn't be able to figure it out. Snail. Okay. Snail. Okay, sure. <laughs> Um, so, um, I forget if this was the one that stays, uh, knee or changes. Changes. This one changes to, uh, police. Yeah. Uh, et men nes Is that how you say yep. it? Okay. Sneu. Uh, the city. Oh, on. Sorry. 
um, the city that is not with the siblings. Yeah, there's some kind of civil war happening. Yeah, um, the city sense. is taken taken aside. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. This is like very much a choose your own adventure sort of uh, set of sentences here. Okay, uh, great job, Kathy. You, you really, really crushed those. Uh, so, <laughs> well, that, I mean, that's that's how you get it, though. It's it's really impressive to me how well y'all are kind of like internalizing these rules because some of them are so arbitrary, uh, like nay changing into police. It's like, yeah, but you're getting it. Uh, do I have another volunteer? We're almost done with lesson seven. I can do it. Aurora? Okay. Yeah. So, Taset Hemet, Neti Nim Na Necher. Yeah, very good. And that's Teshime. Uh, et men nenter. Yeah. And, oh man. Uh, yes, that doesn't change, right? <laughs> Does not change one bit. Pretty impressive, actually. That's, yeah. Um, See, it's the same. Mm, and that's a woman who is with the gods. Yeah. The woman who is with the gods. Mm, so, uh, Naneti. Sorry. No, you're good. Nanati herta itu. And that would be net he peor. Good. Yeah. And then how does it change? Ah. Uh, the heat change, right? Nope. No? It doesn't no, change? That's no, good. It doesn't change. I, I tried okay. to trick you. I'm sorry. <laughs> and it's the ones uh, that are on the river. Yeah. The ones that are on the river. Could be anything, right? Could be boats, people. We don't yeah. know. But yeah. The ones that are on the river. Uh, ta de meat, uh, net pen set em pape. Okay. And that's, uh, te time et, uh, ens em pape. And okay, this one change genders, right? Yeah. And Ptime at uh, M, a uh, hem, the H. Yeah. Uh, this was tricky because you have to actually think. Let's let's leave it off. Like I'm just gonna put like this right now, and then what comes next? Uh, pay. Pay. Yeah. So that's going to be an M, right? It's going to be an M, right? Hem pay, and then one last thing. And yeah, hem pay. yeah. Wait, that makes no sense. Oh, I got them backwards. Okay, well, whatever. What does it mean? Uh, what that uh, town that is <laughs> not on the house. Yeah, uh, not, not in the house. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> town that is not in the house. I mean, why? That must have made sense to me at the time. I'm just going to fix this one. This one is too easy. Oops. OK, that's good. Up here. So like just switching the two. I'm just going to switch them. It works so much better the other way. I think the next one is pretty strange too. <laughs> um, actually, I I would I would maybe defend the next one. I think the next one is is not so bad. Um, 
I, th I think it's okay. Mm -hmm. well, it the house that is not in the town. I mean, I, the house that is not in the town makes way more sense. Okay, let me just check real quick, make sure I got it right. And, oh, we got to switch this. Almost made a mistake. Uh, on. Okay, that looks good. Yeah, this one, uh, I mean, keep in mind how Egyptian cities were constructed. I think this actually Oh, works. yeah. I mean, that could make sense, right? Yeah. This, uh, this actually does work okay. So, uh, Paper Neti Ben Su Hertip Nape Weeper. That would be Pepe at uh, Ens uh, Hitem. Uh, that was a reconstruction, yeah. right? Yeah, that's that's my my hypothetical reconstruction. Okay, so everything is marked as reconstructed. Yeah. Okay. Good. So now in good, good Coptic, what do we have? Uh, they uh, at uh, Hijim. Hey, An. Jim. Nay, sorry. Nay, Han, and Okay. And that's uh, the house that is not upon the houses. Which sounds strange, but I think it actually does make sense because a lot of um, Egyptian towns actually were built in this sort of multi-level fashion. Like mm -hmm. um, there were sort of like townhouses or apartment buildings that are, work kind of like, like, you know, what, like the building that I live in now. It's like a, it's, it's the site, it would be a large townhouse um, or it, it's, you know, multiple apartments. Um, but there are also cases where houses were sort of built separately on top of other houses. And like, there would be walkways on roofs leading to other houses and like, they were not jointly owned or anything. They're just separate houses that happen to be on top of one another. So it's not entirely ridiculous given what we know about ancient Egyptian city layouts. So yeah, not a great sentence, but I, I can defend it anyway. <laughs> um, do you want to do one more, Aurora? Before sure. we go to somebody else? Okay. Uh, so that's na hafe. Uh, Neti M. Paper. And that's Nof, right? Nof et M. Paper. And that would be like Nof et M. Pay. Very good. And that's the uh, snakes uh, that are in the house. Yep, the snakes that are in the house. Not um, a nice thing. <laughs> no, it doesn't sound like good news to me. Um, these are my least favorite snakes, the snakes that are in the house. <laughs> um, I'm much happier with the snakes that are just in the forest or wherever, I don't know, wherever snakes yeah. live. Anyway, okay, thank you, Aurora. That, you did a really great job. Um, and I think we're like, we've got three left. We're almost done. Who wants to do the last three? I do. Okay. Go for it, Aaron. I'm pretty sure that um, was Aaron that just spoke up, right? It was, yes. Okay. And, oh, and right. speaking as a snake owner, I'm deeply offended by your comment. <laughs> it's not, there she's was, not wrong. <laughs> there, was sure, there was surely to be, I don't even know why I said it. It's like, I'm just <laughs> asking to, 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 enraged that like there are people I, I actually have some friends who, who have a couple of snakes and a tarantula and they love them dearly and I'm like you guys just have like you have hearts of just pure gold you love all animals um I don't share your feelings uh but I'm not anti-snake either though I don't want to come out you know I don't want to give the impression that I'm against them they're they're fine uh okay anyway so Erin okay. has snakes in her house 
Just the um, one. Oh, one. Okay, so this I'm sentence crazy. doesn't apply to you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, Piper, maybe. Okay. Pa, pa, ium. Neti bensu. And im. Non nature. Iuna. Okay. Very good. Uh, payom. Uh, at NF or NS ends. Um, men, menter, uh, uh, or not on, sorry. Yes, on, yes, on. on. Yeah, it's actually in there this time. And then I think you just take away the ends. Yeah. Um, I like this sentence. The sea that is not with the gods. I will defend this sentence. This is a nice sentence. Um, there's a story there. Uh, non nature. Neti herdep ta mute. Uh, Nanter uh, at he gem. Uh, uh, oh God, I forgot a call. I've done it so many times. Uh, uh, Tanet. Nay, yeah, good. Uh, Nanter, uh, it's the same. Oh, except uh, uh, Polis. Yeah, let's use Polis. Uh, the gods who are upon the city. Okay, that's pretty cool. Ta depet neti ben set her dep ta ihet iuna. Uh, what did we do with this? Did we just leave yeah, it? Yeah, I, I always forget what we do with it. So I know it's, I know we kind of leave it something. blank a lot. Yeah, it's something like this. This is like, I can definitely do this much. There's definitely to dope or, or dope or something like that. That much I know for sure, but yeah, that vowel yeah. is still a little uncertain. Okay. Um, at and hijen, uh, hijen, I think. Jen, tehe, an. And then I forget what the actual Coptic word for boat is. Joy. Uh, et, get rid of the ends. And then the rest is the same, I think. Yeah. Hey, okay. uh, what have I said here? The boat that is not upon the cow. Yeah, that boat. The one that's not upon the cow. Okay, oh my gosh, exercise seven finished. And this is like perfect stopping point. Um, so I have a slightly unpleasant announcement to make uh, that I wanted to tell you all in person. People who were in hieratic earlier have already heard this, uh, but I wanted to tell you all in person before I make an official announcement. Um, I'm taking a hiatus from teaching these online classes for the next little while. I can't say for sure how long, uh, but recently I was looking at my schedule for the next several months. I have a bunch of trips and then some other like things that I have to do. Um, and our, our schedule was going to get really, really crazy where like we have like one week on and then two weeks off and then a couple weeks on. Um, it was going to get really complicated. So that was already kind of difficult. Um, I'm also just much, much busier with work than I was you know, when I started doing all of this during COVID times, and um, it's now at the point where I'm like working full like business hours and then teaching every night on the weekend. And I just, I just can't keep up with it anymore. It's just way too much. Uh, so I have to take some kind of break. Um, a lot of the people involved, we've been talking about uh, kind of creating an organization to, to arrange these sorts of classes and to make this a more permanent thing. So I want to keep working on that and like find 
a sustainable way to do this. But for the foreseeable future, we won't be having this class online anymore. I'm very sorry about that. Um, it's it's not something that I like to do, but I'm uh, it's, it's at the point where it's I just have to. Um, there's really no other way around it. I'm just way overloaded, um, and I just can't keep doing this every single weekend. Uh, so I'll make an official announcement, and then I'll update everyone with like Discord and email announcements uh, when we have like a new plan in place to to make this something sustainable. Uh, but for the next little while, we won't be having these classes. Uh, if you're a Patreon supporter, I strongly recommend that you suspend your Patreon support because the last thing I want to do is be taking something for nothing. Um, that really is the purpose of that support is to compensate for the time that I'm spending on this. I now no longer have that time. Like COVID things are changing. My, my daily, uh, you know, work during business hours has like, kind of maxed out again. And I, I just, um, if I keep doing this, I basically have like zero free time and it's just not like, I just can't keep doing it. So I'm very sorry about that, but that's where it stands. Uh, I wanted to tell you all in person as, yeah, you know, tell you directly and then I'll put something on discord and, and update you if anything changes and we'll keep working to try to keep this a thing um, but we're going to have to figure out a different way to do it because it's, it's I, I mean, I'm sure everybody already understands, but it's pretty much impossible to have like a full-time day job and then like teach every night on the weekend also yeah. at the same time. It's just not, it's not doable. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah. So that's okay. my, I, yeah, I, I hate telling you guys that I don't like it one bit, but it's, kind of the only thing I can do at this point to stop my schedule from being so absolutely insane. Yeah, so you'll hear more when I know more and we'll be working in the background to try to figure out a, a way forward on these things. So yeah. Okay, so until, we'll take until, care of you, you know? <laughs> yeah, it, it definitely is sort of a mental health thing. Like I've been, I've been working full time and doing this for like a more than a month now. And it's just like, there's, it's reached the point where it's like, I, I just cannot. I, I woke up this Monday morning and I was just like, how in the world am I going to just start that whole round of things over? Um, and then I talked with friends and family who were like, well, and I actually laid out my whole schedule and we kind of looked at like, what can you take off this list? And the only thing that is fully optional and that's just a labor of love is this class. So it's the thing that I have to take off the list um, against my own preferences, unfortunately. So yeah, that's life. But um, yeah, I don't think it's a hiatus forever. I think we're going to figure out a way to make it work. Uh, I just don't know what that is yet. So I'll update you guys as soon as I know. But until then, everyone stay safe and happy. And I'll talk to you guys soon, I hope. Okay. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you for your time. Thank you, thank yes. you very much. Bye, everyone. For the classes.